All right. So, investigate murder evidence, which is going to be on. Yeah, which is not here. I don't think. Uh, right, additional tasks. These are all on. Out and about. Missing arts, yes. So basically, we're. So we need to go to the Hyperion now. Okay. If I can remember the way. In fact, let's just make that hour active. So I know where I'm going, kind of. So we need to go to habitation first and then to the tram. Oops. Yeah, what's going on there? Cora, let's talk. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. Nah, they did. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Yeah, she wasn't exactly my favourite person. Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. Oh, cheers, Carla. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. Cool. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Yeah, I was planning on doing that. Okay, see you later, Cora. Right, so before we go to habitation, we'll go to the cryo bay and see how she's getting on. See how Sarah's getting on. Alright, let's see... Oh, I think she's straight on down here. And seems to be... I'm Hello, Nigel. Cash. What do Patrol's you want from me? Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. I'm sorry for your loss. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Yes. Of course. Sure, I can do that. Journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Sure, no problem. All right. Who else have we got to talk to here? Hello, Fisher. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. Yeah, things will get better. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. I like his hat. Will do. Chin up. Oh, whatever it is, he's wearing. Not 100% sure. Alright, so who else can we talk to before we go and talk to Dr. Carlisle? Greer. Hello. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. Uh, killed you, probably. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father. And Kirkland. Yeah, they'll be missed. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but... Kirkland was a friend. And... I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. What do you mean? Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Alright, anybody else? Can I talk to you? No. 
talk to anybody over here. See if there's anybody down there we can talk to. We took a look at the information wall. Who's over here? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, hang on. Here's. How are you? Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So, this goes from a life threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Yeah, we did well getting out of there. Let's talk to Dr. Carlisle about so uh... Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. How did he die? I haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. I've met one Pathfinder. Well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah. Sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. She will. So I'll take it you're staring on... St staring? Staying on the Hyperion. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... No. Ha, <laughs> right. Look who I'm Not. talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. Well, what are you going to do here? What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. How's she doing? How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. It means all the wiring still works. Oh, that's good. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. Oh, hell. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could, I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. <laughs> Alright, speak to you later. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Thanks, Dr. Carlisle. Well, get better soon, Sarah. We are out of here. So let's head now to... Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Heading to... Is it Sam Nord? Don't want to go to operations. Uh, where do we want to go? I take it it's the habitation deck. Or is it? Is there somewhere else we need to go? Operations. Let's just check because. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Alright, so he must be on the habitation deck. Well, there was the uh, objective there, wasn't there? Like, blind as a bat. All right, let's go and see. I've not done much in the way of scanning, but... All right, so where is he? Oh, I must be in this one here. Discovered Sam Nord. Alright, Sam. 
How are you doing? Hello, Scott. Welcome back to Sam Mood. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. All right, why the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Oh. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. Not sure I like that. You, I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Hmm. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Yeah, that, that could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. But I'm, I'm still the boss. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go with WoW, I think. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. Oh, hello. And dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. All right, so profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implant for superior battlefield performance. Select a profile and press A to activate it. So we are going for Adept to take it. Because that's the only one that is open to us at the moment. Adepts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with powerful mass effect fields. This profile reconfigures Rides biotic implants, enabling to defeat his opponents without firing a single shot. Nice. <coughs> For deck rank 2, 24 skill points invested in biotics. Rank 1 gives 15% biotic force, plus 15% biotic area of effect damage. 15% uh, biotic area of effect radius, plus 20% biotic... Oh, bloody hell. Plus, uh, biotic echoes, biotic... Con Combos can set off additional explosions on each enemy they touch. Oh, jeez, man. Biotic jump and evades. Instead of a jump jet, use biotics to jump and evade. Oh, now that's cool. I like that. All right, so we'll be selecting that profile. Invest in combat tech or biotic skills to unlock more powerful profiles in a variety of styles. Press B to exit. Okay. I think what we'll do is take a break here and then in the next episode we'll go and investigate the uh, Pathfinder's room and then go to our ship. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality.